Killer fish. Killer fish from San Diego. I don't know what I am, but I taste really good. I'm a killer fish. Hello. I'll be your killer fish for the evening. Thank you. Hello, it's me, Rizu Gaming. I'm back. Fuji, you're indeed first, and now you have to dip. So you've taken first and you've ran away. How, how honorable of you. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm back from Scotland. It went fine and it started to rain, so I need to immediately close my <laughs> windows so my plugs don't get wet. That would be a nice little start. I actually do need to rethink my uh, plug situation. 
Hello, Sand Rain. Hope you're doing well. Rain is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, on the one hand, it cools everything down. On the other hand, it uh, means I have to close my window. <laughs> We're gonna play some more Oni uh, Frosty Planet uh, today and tomorrow, so Thursday and Friday, which is somewhat unusual for me, but I've got permission, so, <laughs> so we're all good. Right, uh, what are we up to? It's a midnight view at the moment. Nice, nice. Now, the big issue we have is that the pipe for the bathroom keeps breaking because the sand going in the water sieve is too cold for it to operate. Um, and so we need to heat up the sand. That needs to happen immediately. Otherwise, we're going to have to keep fixing this pipe for all eternity because the water going into it is hot, but the, the uh, sand is too cold. Gotta fix that. Got a new principle. What we got? Ice. We have 531 tons of ice. I think we'll be fine. Let's take another frostproof dupe. Uh, you have. I'm surprised they still haven't fixed small bladder after all these updates. Uh, plus nine athletics. Frostproof sounds good. Otto, you can have supplying flies. Farming for. Oh, we were going to get you advanced doctoring. Oh, whatever. Um, we'll get that eventually, and then we'll get steel. Here you go, Otto. You can have some of those. Is there really that many uh, steam turbine need for any mini volcano? Four and three for iron. Well, this is assuming you're self-cooling uh, the steam turbines. So they're maxing out at like 300 watts-ish. Um, if you're using actively cooled steam turbines, two steam turbines is enough for any volcano. Uh, regardless of metal type. But I'm assuming you're talking about... I'm assuming you're talking about the uh, self-cooling ones, because otherwise that question doesn't really make much sense. My god, the dupes have been peeing themselves a lot. This is number one issue that needs to be solved uh, throughout the course of the next few days. we got to fix this before our duplicates have a problem again. And we'll cut this off again. I'll build up a backup in the tank. So we have the conveyor related stuff. So I think what we need to do is we just need to make a manual loader. Put it here. And then we'll send a load of conveyor rails around. Just underneath the water. And we'll go up here as well. Wait, we can't reach all of it. How about we just do that then? That'll probably do. Um, let me have a think about this. Let's do it in a way that they can actually build everything. How about like this? And then what we'll do is we'll put a... Sensor over here because I could reach this bit. So we'll put a convert conveyor rail thermo sensor on here. Hey Neo, hey Estaini, hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. It's the site visit went well, so I'm pretty happy. Right, uh, shut off. Don't make it out of mercury. So that's gonna go here, and then I think what we'll do is, if it works. Or if it's if it needs to recirculate, then I need to reposition something. Oh, let's think about this. But can I rotate this? I can. So what we'll do is I could put. Oh, I know what I could do. I could bridge this like this. These bridges always end up so wacky when I'm involved. Oh, and then it can't get out here. A brilliant, genius, inspired. Uh, well, well, that's fine. We can just move this one up here. So that can go in there, and then the loop starts again here. So the loop will recirculate if the sand is too cold, and if the sand is warm enough, then it will go up here. I guess I'll need to put in some more ladder. 
and then I'll just put it on a shoot here and then we'll put an auto sweeper here change the solid mercury okay <laughs> right we're not we're not making that a solid mercury don't worry game so I can all get plugged in like this and then automation wire goes here I made sure it didn't overlap with anything and then Can I actually put a ladder over here? I can. Okay. And then the rest of it should be accessible from the pitcher pump. I'll put in a couple more pitcher pumps as well. Just so we can grab all this water. You tamed your first tungsten volcano with two steam turbine. It was really cool fast. Just like gold specific heat capacity. Nice. I don't really remember a lot about tungsten. We haven't really done much with it. Um, so, in other news, we got a fair few ethanol distilleries working. Um, they aren't running at the moment because we've actually generated more ethanol than we need. So that is a sign that A, we need to get this pipe finished, and B, we need to start planting the plume squashes. So these take these take ethanol. They have to be minus 14. That's fine. The ethanol is going to be hot, but we're going to feed it in with an insulated pipe, so I'm hoping that will be fine. We'll plug in the ones down here first, and we'll investigate... We'll investigate further. I really don't want to have to actively cool the the ethanol. Uh, we probably could just run the ethanol past the the water now to heat up the water and cool down the ethanol. That's probably a good idea. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's fix the sieve issue first because if the duplicates. The duplicates have bathroom issues. We're we're gonna just be looking at that constantly, <laughs> so we don't want to do that. Uh, Bert, you can have mechatronics. Excellent, another mechatronics dude. I'm going to keep a beady eye out for whether it starts or stops raining, so I can keep opening this window. I got really worried for a second. That looked like a dead dude. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so what else is going on? We're making more snazzy suits and stuff. We just printed a frost-resistant dupe, so we can make another snazzy suit. We have some broken wires. That one's fine. That one's... Oh, okay. Clearly we got impatient about that one. We need to get a metal refinery up and running as well. We shouldn't need to run these tepidizers anymore to heat stuff up. We should be able to generate enough heat from the ethanol and whatnot that we don't need this anymore. But we'll build the we'll build this stuff first. Is that all on priority eight? Okay. What other tasks do we have? It was the pipe. That's fine. Uh, there's also the whole stuff with the volcano over here in the salt water. We should probably get that all built. Oh my god! Look at all the fluxes bouncing. I really want to make a music video where it's just the fluxes bouncing. This Bamoth is now an adult. It's quite funny. What other radiation uh, related research do we want? Do we want anything specific? Not really sure yet. Um, oh, conductive wires. Yeah, let's get that. That's not radiation research. That's fine. Uh, we will deprecate this. So the ethanol comes out of this at 74 degrees-ish. So there's a fair amount of heat to lose. We did put it in a... in a normal pipe. So hopefully it will quickly uh, dispense its heat into the environment. But we may need to run that pipe down here. In fact, it's probably pretty easy for me to just fit in like this, right? All we need to do is actually send it down here do the exact same thing with the granite. Let's make a little radiator for all of this. I think the thumbnail might just be all the crap that's going on down here today. Um, and then we can't get through neutronium. That was very well thought out. So pipe goes here and then we can just feed it back in here. So we'll disconnect that first and then we'll fill it and separate everything off. You need to figure out how to make a cobalt volcano tamer tomorrow. I've done iron and gold and I feel like cobalt's going to be somewhere in the middle. That is a sensible assumption. 
we did actually do a video on Metal Volcano Tamers. Um, I think I made one video. Um, and the premise was you would use the Metal Volcano to boil all of your salt water so you had the salt. And it would run on a closed loop if you didn't have any salt water to boil. It would just boil its own output water and steam. Uh, so I was pretty happy with that design. Um, we'll probably do it on this run later, but I just want to set up something in the interim, and this should work in the interim. Right, I'm going to open the windows again. <laughs> that was the shortest rain, rain session. So, plans for the weekend. So, the Whiskers portrait. I will have the Whiskers portrait in two days. And I'm going to get that set up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, probably also try and wall mount my plug sockets so that they're no longer keeping the pu the, uh, the puff company. And so they actually have shelter from the rain. That would be a good idea. That way I can actually keep the window open a bit less irresponsibly. <laughs> Is the industrial sauna with petroleum generator, ethanol distillers, etc. with uh, good with molten sixes under? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. I have tried that. The issue I had with that, so this is before I started streaming. The issue I had with that was the um, the steam and the carbon dioxide don't necessarily sink and rise fast enough for it to work. We had the carbon dioxide clogging the steam turbines a fair bit. So that was mildly annoying. Well, you guys have lots of stuff to build, so we're just going to speed to you. And this is important because we're storing sand in here. This sand has warmed up a little bit. We have some more sand over here. This has warmed up a little bit too. The warmer it gets, the less issues we're going to have. And what we'll do is we'll set this to... So the conveyor loaders, that's a look. So we can set them to sweep only, allow manual use. We'll sweep up all the sand, we'll put it in the conveyor loader, and then we'll dump it here once it's warmed up. And we're doing this because the liquid ha and the conveyor and um, bleh, the conveyor rail will allow the sand to, to conduct heat with the liquid more quickly. We've done this before in a few cases. Okay, there's more pitcher pumps, that's good. Attribute increases. Let's have a look at uh, long commutes. That's fine. Um, we've still got a little bit of ethanol down here. I'm presuming we still just actually want to pump this out. I think that's probably fine. We have conductive wires. So, we've got to fit a... We've got to fit a metal refinery down here and hook it up in a cheeky way. Now, this has to be with a conductive wire. So what we'll do is we'll probably we want to rock crush a few more bits of iron. How much iron do we have? How much iron ore do we have? Let's actually put that on the list. Metal ore. So not a huge amount. There's probably more on the map. We have some more sleep wheat grains. Right, okay, so the door is open, the egg cracker is active. So now, I think I think we have enough fluxes. Like, all the ranches are full, I think. Yeah, all the doors are open. So the automation has turned on the door and the egg cracker. So now, we can crack all the flux eggs. And this will, how many eggs will this get loaded with at a time? Three. Okay, that's good. And then you're getting wrangled and dumped over here. Um, there's probably something that doesn't need to happen with this. Do we use conductive panels? Um, I do... Oh, for the steam turbines. I've tried it. Um, it's not bad. I, I just like building lots of radiant pipe spaghetti, but I think the, conductive, the conduction panel does work pretty well, in all honesty. What's going on with this? Not enough CO2. Well, we're trying to work on it. The constraint at the moment, I think, is our wire technology. Because we can just hook up more petroleum generators, you know. That's probably not the worst idea in the world. 
Maybe we just put another one over here. This is all going to be mesh tile anyways. We need more metal as well, so we might as well dig this out. Uh, so that's going to go here, here. We cut this off. I'll put some more batteries here as well. We'll dig this out. Oh, I guess all the CO2 is sinking in here. Oh, whatever. We'll get pushed out eventually. Uh, we'll draw this off as well. That's fine. The dupes can't get in here now. You heard it only useful for the vacuum. Uh, they used to be really weak. But now they're strong enough that they're somewhat usable even if you don't have a vacuum. Like, it, it can occasionally make sense to use them. Right, we're removing this. This did not work. The ethanol generator does not... Lo the the auto sweepers didn't load it fast enough. I feel like maybe it would have worked if we just hooked up the ethanol generators and put the auto sweepers on the different power line, but that would have overloaded it for sure because these machines would have all been running constantly. So I don't think that would have been a very good idea. Uh, we'll just do this. So the wire will go here, and then that will connect up here. And we'll probably connect the metal refinery to that as well. Are they better than radiant pipes? Um, I think it depends on the material. Oh, it's raining again. Right. I'm not seeing the rain come in. I'm going to keep shuffling the wires around. Oh. I don't need phone time. What's that? Hold on. Oh, that was my laptop. Oh, <laughs> I need that one here. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold on, sorry guys. Technical difficulties. not actually coming in. I'm just paranoid. I'm just paranoid and it's too hot for me to want to risk it and make silly decisions. Right, are we back? Can you hear me? OBS says the mic is working. Blink once if you could hear my voice. Are you act? Are you serious? Hold on. You bet. You better not be joking about this. Are you joking? Great. Great. Excellent. I'm. I. I would do a rude gesture, but. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> OBS said it was working, so I was humoring you. You could not you also couldn't make me waste my stream time. Fair. We discovered a mutant seed. We found oh, not not in the purpose built uh plant mutating area. No, we found it next to this random weeds wall. Um we found two. Okay. That's good. Um, can I just set you to repair this automatically? Are you actually going to do this if, if I set you to repair? I would rather just have you do that and use the rock for now. Now, what do I actually want to prioritize as well? Obviously, the, the sand. Let's prioritize the sand. The rest of this stuff can wait. Uh, the ethanol is starting to go in here. The pipe is not yet being built. The pipe here is now all full of ethanol. So we can start planting all of these guys. How many seeds do we have? Five. Okay. So we're going to get rid of all this stuff. So I think what we do is... Oh! We're about to hit cycle 100! Let's go. 
I always get a bit nervous when I hear that noise. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just like, what's going on? Oh god, look at all the damage wires. Yeah, we need some... Uh, the more base pressure we put on this, the less our oscillating circuit is actually working. Hooray! Did it. 100 cycles. We officially survived. 17 duplicates. Uh, let's replace this painting. God, this room gets too humid. This room actually gets too humid when I've got the fan on. Ugh. Let's sort out this tile as well. Right. Can you guys actually breathe down here? I mean, probably not. There's a little bit of oxygen still down here. We're trying to have it seep upwards. If I just open this up, I was going to have this be an exosuit zone. It doesn't seem super necessary. The the insulated tile seems to be working, so I think we actually just disconnect this. Let me get to work. Also, I need to get you to actually build all of this drywall so that it's not taking up your errands. That's probably not helping the lag. I should also probably activate fast track again. That would be a good idea. So, here's a question. So, when I actually accidentally unplugged my laptop, uh, did it did it glitch out the audio? Like, like I know it came back. Did it did it leave any artifacts? I know. I think. Yeah. Uh, I think the video probably lagged. Recently watched my Geotune a bit. I'm excited to Geotune the Saltwater Geyser, Cool Steam Vent, and Metal Volcano. Nice. Yeah, OBS says I didn't lag. So, I, um, in terms of rendering and encoding. So, I think we're actually alright. I would not recommend streaming on a laptop battery, though. Right, we've opened this up. That's probably a good thing. So, now we can access this from both ends. Probably nine that. So I have to geotune your saltwater geyser, cool steam vent, and methyl volcano. Nice. Do an automated water pool of arbor, water harvesting arbor, free branches by flooding effect. It's really good. Yeah, I've seen a few people do that. It seemed better than my other approach. Right. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to duplicate the the setup over here with the deodorizers. Um, actually, I don't think the polluted oxygen is going over here. Let's have a look. No, we're fine. Well, maybe I'll just duplicate these two. And then that wire can go here. Uh, who's suffocating? And then we'll put the heater here. That's what I wanted to actually put here. Where? So, Mima. Mima, you're fine. You guys are fast enough. I don't think this is going to be a problem now. We do have a little bit of athletics going on. Stuff is getting built. There is a little bit of suffocation. I think generally we're all right. We do need to put oxalite sconces in a few places. You know what? We'll, we'll put one here as well. Then that'll do. And in fact, actually hook that up here instead of here. Okay, that's good. The pipe uh, does not seem to be broken anymore. Maybe the sand, maybe the sand heater is no longer needed. Let's have a look. Did you just fill it incidentally with hot sand? You did. Well, it's not hot sand, but it's... It doesn't seem... It doesn't seem cold enough to break anything. Yeah, we got a thunderstorm warning, actually. Warning, so I should have thought about that before I opened my window. Zebra Danios are hanging out in the top. I'm not sure about the Zebra Danios. They seem to be behaving a little bit weirdly recently. Tank temperature is fine. I, I, 
I've replaced the battery in my thermometer. It's 25 degrees, which is not ideal, but it's about as cold as it's going to get without me rotating in the frost packs, the freezer packs all the time. Ranch, I don't think we care about. Let's get the lime. Oh my god, look at the calories! Look at the calories! We got all the raw egg. We're cracking all the we're cracking all the floxes. So we said we were going to crack floxes, uh, flox eggs, until we were left with wait. Yeah, so we've got eight eight here. Let's leave it at um, sixty four. <laughs> I don't think we need to crack literally all the eggs. But in any case, we now have raw egg going in here as well. That's going in this room. And now we can actually make souffle pancakes. Because we have the sleep leads as well. So are we making souffle pancakes? I think we might be. I never made pancakes before. Yeah, we are making pancakes. Look, there they are. Sweet discs made from raw egg and sleep wheat grain. They're so thick. Good quality. Plus eight morale. There we go. This is probably one of the easiest plus eight morales we've ever had. If only uh, we were actually domestically growing the sleep wheat. But this is working out pretty well for us, to be honest. Ethanol's still chugging away. Um, I think it's time. Well, they'll have built this pipe fairly soon. That's what they're mostly doing at the moment. Uh, we'll speed to it again. What do we do with the Bamoths? I think we leave... We did get a ranch thing in here. This didn't seem to activate. I could just remove these guys and get rid of the get rid of the plants. I don't want to yet though. I don't want to accidentally murder all the bamets. Right, uh, Quinn, you can have building. Camille, you can have electrical engineering. Freya, you can have building. Leofar, you can have building. Beautiful. Yeah, this is fine. I know it's not super efficient. We could build exosuits as well and have them go in here. The only issue is the way we're letting the dupes in and out of this area is not very conducive to an exosuit terminal. There's no way to get them to suit up going down a fire pole. And in the past, we've done it by having like a little side cutaway where they go through. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Do the dupes need to get in a suit every time you need to go to the bathroom? Probably not. So you're still repairing the pipe. You are actually repairing it on a priority 9 now. That's why this hasn't broken. So we do still need the sand thing. That's reassuring. Also, the polluted dirt. So the plan for the polluted dirt was to shove it down here. Because we're going to generate a ton of polluted dirt. Now, what are we actually going to feed the polluted dirt to? How are we going to solve that issue? So, you can melt it into the glass, which is very funny. Um, you can sublimation station it. I think we sublimation station it. Sounds good to me. It's mostly a, a byproduct. We're not really short on oxygen, though. We could do oak shells. I mean, it seems it seems like poke shells, oak shells, etc. would be the way to go. Were it not for the fact that the biomes are too cold to have them. So that's mildly annoying. What about you guys? You sip nectar from the bonbon tree. You produce tallow. We produce ethanol. The nectar in this can be turned into plastic or converted into ethanol. And the seal literally turns into the tallow. So this doesn't seem like it would help us. Well, we definitely don't need any more oxygen. There are some warmer biomes down here, though. So maybe we just need to look at that. 
There is too much oxygen down here at the moment. There's way too much oxygen down here. So, considering there's way too much oxygen down here, I think I'm happy with us continuing to just dig down here and see what we can find. So, let's go for it. We want to... Why am I not holding down shift either? I'm happy to just continue going down here. Also, we should uproot all the plume squashes. So, let's go in... Here. Then we'll dig these up. Because we want all the seeds. Um, yeah. We haven't automated these yet because I'm kind of happy for the polluted dirt to just pile up on the floor at the moment because it's not going to off gas in here because the pressure is high enough. At least that's the plan. I think we might be decreasing the pressure a little bit, but we'll have the deodorizers and stuff in place as well, so it should be fine. Yay, calories! We have a lot of raw egg. It's deep frozen, so it'll take 25 cycles to go off. But 25 cycles to cook it into stuff. Um, I think we make omelettes as well. Obviously, it's less. How about we actually have... Two of you on omelettes as priority eight. And then you as super late pancakes as priority nine. That way, it should prioritize making pancakes if we have them. If we don't have the sleep wheat, we'll just make omelettes. That seems good to me. So now we have loads of food. Now we have loads of oxygen. So now I think we just start printing dupes like crazy. Well, we want the labor. Um, lag is obviously a thing that exists. So I do need to pay at least some attention to that. But I think my main goal with this run is to explore the critters. Because I feel like we've got a pretty good plan. We've done the floxes. We've figured these guys out. Although you seem to have escaped. They are getting uh, dropped in. At the moment, they're mostly getting... Uh, mostly just filling up the area. There's slightly too many of them. Oh, right. That's what we want to do. That's why I want to cook most of the eggs. So set this to... Yeah, set this to eight. Uh, set this to ten, then. That's one egg per branch. And then we'll murder all of these guys. And then we shouldn't have flocks overpopulation. And by overpopulation, I mean lag. There you go. Just, just murder the excess guys. And you can murder this guy too. Because, let's see, how many breeders do we actually need to hold this up? So, each guy produces an egg every six cycles. Uh, so... Right. We need... At least six eggs, per, um, no, eight eggs per hundred cycles. So that's one egg every 12.5 cycles. These guys will produce one egg every six cycles. There's definitely some maths here, and my brain isn't braining. I think the number is higher than 10. I think it's probably more like 20. We want to make sure we have enough eggs left that the population maintains fine now the only thing about this as well is i'm not sure this is actually going to prioritize the eggs that um are closer to hatching so maybe we activate this again make sure we've got a couple of them we'll see we'll do some experimenting but yeah these guys don't get very much meat are they giving any meat? Are we actually murdering them? Yeah, they are giving meat. They give 1,000 grams of meat each. Okay. Right, uh, so. This pipe is done. So now what we do is cut this off. And 
I think what I actually do, I've made a mistake again. Uh, I think what we actually do is run this down here, run that here, put a bridge in, and then that goes over here. That's how we fill this one, and that gives us a bit more ethanol to work with. And we can fit some more ethanol distillers down here. Because we can run another four off of a regular wire. We have no shortage of wood for construction now. This is... So let's... Stop doing that. Let's do wood here. Wood here. And we'll dig these to let the water out. Seems good to me. And then we'll dig all of this as well. And then we'll dig this for now. Okay, so this is all actually built. We set this to sweep only. Uh, sand. Manual use, priority 9. And then if the temperature is above 0 degrees, then it goes, then it goes through. And if not, it recirculates. So let's see if this works. Our sand radiator feels very silly. Uh, do we have automation wire on this? No. Okay, let's fix that. Yeah, you're set to the right settings. We'll probably expand everything over here as well. We'll get rid of these storage bins. In fact, I don't think we need any of these storage bins anymore. So we'll remove these. And we'll put another petroleum generator over here. And we'll put the metal refinery over here. Or wherever we stop doing the, the ethanol distillers. This is not very organized. This was more organized in my head. I mean, it's all working. But it's not quite where I thought it was going. I'll put the conveyor loader in here as well. Oh, we don't have enough metal? Okay, that's fine. So... I believe we'll just go down here. That bridge can go there, and then... This can just go... over here. And we'll need these to be mesh. The water doesn't leak out. So, mesh tiles here, I think. And when are we going to see someone actually load this up? No one. Oh, because we've got no sand on sweep only. Okay. Uh, where's all the sand? Oh, okay, right. Uh, let's start by just sweeping up sand that's specifically here. But this is a minus seven, so let's see how quickly that uh, warms up. And then we can stop repairing the pipe. That being said, just telling them to repair the pipe has been working for now. Obviously, it's wasting rock, so we don't want to keep doing that. Uh, let's keep an eye on plume squash seeds, because we're still trying to multiply all of these. So, one, two, three. One other thing I realized that we want to do is we want to set up a phosphorite, um, a fertilizer room, because we have polluted water and we have dirt. So, to make the fertilizer, you use polluted water, dirt, and phosphorite, and then that gives you fertilizer. And considering that we're going to use this to reduce our ethanol consumption... Or ethanol, uh, we're going to make more plume squashes with less phosphorite. So, this should, uh, we're going to make pl more plume squashes with less ethanol. Because we need less ethanol, we need less phloxes. Long story short, I think this will save us some phosphorite, even though it directly consumes it. But I'm not immediately going to play around with it. Right, we'll put this all here. I don't know why I'm dooring this off. I think I'm mostly just dooring this off so critters don't accidentally wander in here. 
Um, I am aware that we're probably going to start leaking heat out into this biome, but that's fine because this whole area is this whole area is actually cold anyways. Well, this whole area is heating up anyways with the salt water geyser. So I don't think I care about that. Uh, you can build the fire pole here as well. It's I guess we'll drywall as well. Probably don't need to drywall. But I want to. The, the new wallpaper is so nice. It would feel like a waste if I didn't. Yeah, we'll keep going down here. Um, I'll stop here for now. We found a new thing. Right, okay, what's this? Geothermal heat pump. Cool rack. An abandoned geothermal power plant has been discovered. My scans indicate that this facility comprises multiple buildings located throughout the planet, with plumbing entrenched so deeply in the terrain that much of it is beyond our reach. Most of the accessible portions seem quite functional. Discovered the geothermal power plant. So... There's three geo vents that we need to connect and unblock. Reconnect this building's steel pipeline to restore function. So we need steel to go into this. Okay, that makes sense. Uses heat from the planet's core to dramatically increase the temperature of liquid outputs. Materials we emitted at connected geo vents. What comes out depends very much on the initial temperature of what goes in. Okay. Uh, we'll inspect some things as well. A wall-mounted rack for storing and displaying useful tools at a not-so-useful height. That's very funny. They put the ladder in there, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, maintenance equipment that once flushed out debris of complex mechanisms. There's some data banks and all of this. Locker. Made of ultra-lightweight textiles. Right, we want to have a look at that as well. Oh, it shows us where the vents are. Okay, so this one this one seems to be blocked by uh, the Silver Bammoth Patty. Is that what that is? There's a tool crate as well. Okay, who's stressed? Okay, you guys are starting to get stressed. Why is that? Pop Deirdre. Yeah, that makes sense. The pressure is too high. It almost sounds like it's not shit when you phrase it that way. Yeah, gas pressure is too high. That is an issue. Uh, what can we do about it? Probably just relieve stress in general. Uh, I'm just going to take the shine in for now. I know we could, should technically be printing more dupes, but... I don't really want to at the moment. You know what would be really helpful? If this map mode had a setting that said pop deer drums or too high. I think that would be pretty useful. So why are these producing so much oxygen? Is it because this is just continuously off-gassing? Yes. Let's make this a priority one. I think... Yeah, perhaps it's just the oxalite sculpts. Being in the CO2 is just producing more oxygen. They're gonna get pop their drums going in here though as well. We can make carpet tiles, and I think that's worth doing. We'll put them on the beds, and we'll make them out of granite as well. So... Carpet tile goes underneath the left tile. So we'll make some granite carpets and we'll put them under every bed. And then we'll shuffle people around as needed. Uh, you know what? Yeah, sweep those up. I don't really want the duplicates to overstress. That would be bad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? What's going on here? Guys. You done goofed. 
that's fine though. That was uh, that was my fault. No, no. Okay, you need to do this. Do this. Because we're currently just burning uh, ethanol. <laughs> we're burning all the ethanol. Well, this is very funny, but it's not exactly what we want. Wait, no. Why are you making? Why are you making stuff out of mercury? I'm not seeing the stuff made out of mercury. The smart battery, right. Okay, we're not making this out of mercury. Um, I guess we're making it out of mercury. We need more uh, regular iron before the volcano comes online. Again. So there you go. Make some more iron. This is just going to melt immediately. Okay, yeah. You know what? Don't bother. Don't bother. Sorry, Pay. Right, well, we've built the automation wire at least, so this won't just waste all the petroleum there. Oh, hold on, look! We've got it going. The sand... The sand is warm enough now. It seems to have warmed up very quickly, so perhaps this was a little bit of overkill. Um, so now... Let's set the pipe to... Oh, okay. So, pipe broke. Let's set this to priority one. So, set this to priority... Oh, great. You need to build this. That needs to happen as well. Giant egg. Great. I should make a room for just shearing all the wild mammoths. That'd be a good idea. We'll uh, upgrade the carpets as well. That should help with the stress. But yeah, I can see why stress is going. Some duplicants uh, have too many skills as well. Oh my god, look at all the overload damage. <laughs> no. Get up to Harold. Are you trying to dig all this? Is that relevant anymore? I don't really think so. I think we'll just leave that. Right, so. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Transformer? Okay. Smart battery goes here. We'll set that up immediately and then this can start working. Then that wire can go here. That's fine for now. Okay, we built the carpet tiles. We have access to kittens. Uh, let's remove the pee. Less people have been peeing themselves today. This is good. Remove this. We have a large amount of calories. And most of them should be getting stored down here. Although we actually need to set this conveyor loader to souffle pancakes and omelettes. And then we'll actually store them in the freezer bit, which is uh, not quite full of CO2, but is gradually getting there. You still need to get through all the raw egg. <laughs> More phloxes have returned. Is it wheat and eggs for pancakes? Can't remember. Yeah, it's sleep wheat and raw egg. Well, I'm pretty happy with our calorie surplus. Let's, uh... Oh, that was the wrong button. I keep doing that. Not the bit I actually pressed the correct button. We're going to want an extra mess hall in here as well if we're going to have more duplicates. So we can start doing this. Because we've got food and we've got too much oxygen. 
So we should be printing more dupes, really, but I need I need to find inspiring dupes. Okay, so the ethanol is coming in pretty hot. It's heating up the water. So as this heats up the water, these tepidizers shouldn't need to activate because the temperature will natively end up over 30 degrees. So that's going to reduce the amount of broken wires we get as well. For sure. Uh, you know what, actually? You can just remove all of this. We're going to have the Bamath ranches over here. Oh no, we we're going to put them in here. Yeah, that's what we we're going to do. Because they, they, these guys actually get hot. But we'll think about that later. What's going on with this wire? So the issue is... Auto sweepers are running too much. So I think what we actually need to do is we need to cut this one off. Have this one go in here. Then set this to... 10 and 90. These petroleum generators shouldn't be running all the time. They shouldn't be super heavily loaded. Uh, that was wrong. That needs to go here. And then this needs to go here. Okay. That works. Cancel all these sweeps. We're no longer concerned about that. So the issue being... The wire is going to overload on this as well. Because these things are running consistently. And we need ten of them to actually get all of the... Stuff. What do you have Otto doing to be that stressed? I think it's just popped eardrums. It's popped eardrums exclusively. He's relaxing now. Um, Otto, what bed do you have? You can have this. You can have this bed right by the heater. We'll keep an eye on him, but I think he'll be all right. It's it was just popped eardrums. We're gonna let more of the cum dioxide out. And we're going to get more dupes. I think what happened was an oxalite sconce was producing too much oxygen. There's no way of automating these so that uh, they deactivate if the pressure is too high. Well, we know we're eventually going to want 10 of these. Maybe we just don't plug these ones in right away. Uh, this mail loader can go here, and that's going to go... The dirt is going to go in here. We'll send that somewhere, but I haven't figured out where yet. Okay, the, the thing is broken again. Why? Why are you still full of cold sand? So we literally have the hot sand here now. Oh, you still built the wire? Oh god. Okay, look. This is what happens when I prioritize everything at 8 and I don't get anyone at priority 9. That's fine. Uh, it's going alright, to be honest. I'm not stressed, I'm just hot. Right. Speaking of which, I am very quickly going to go grab a drink slash dinner because it's so hot I don't really feel like cooking so or eating hot food for that. So I'll be right back with my uh, dinner slash beverage. <laughs> oh, that was, that was the wrong button. I forgot about that button. I like that button. Uh, there we go. I'll see you in a minute.
Alrighty. Uh, who died? No one. Good. Today's dinner slash beverage is this fuel shake. Hooray! This is a high protein one, apparently. I've got to admit, I quite enjoy the Huel Shakes, but I haven't tried a high protein one yet, so I might not like it. Let's see. Well, it tastes the exact same, so that's a good sign. <laughs> I find they have a little bit of a weird aftertaste, but I do quite enjoy them, and they do actually feel satiating. Pretty big fan. Right, um, what the heck is going on with this? Right, here's what's going on with this. <laughs> have fun. Then maybe that can come down there and be a bit less ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to have another petroleum generator. A smart battery for that one. We're just doing a lot of independent circuits at the moment just to get stuff running. And then the metal refinery is going to go in here. Uh, just for the interim. Just to actually get some metal refinement going. Uh, so that's granite, that's fine. I think it makes sense to put the automation on this side. So we'll put, uh, we'll put lumen quartz. I love these lumen quartzes. They make this a lot easier. So the wire for this, this will have to be a conductive wire as well. So what we'll actually do is disconnect this. We'll make... Uh, how about another 20? Oh, whatever. Another 40. We want the sand as well, believe it or not. But eventually we'll just want the metal. The, the pipe is broken again. Repairy, please. It seems they're actually generating the errand to repair it now, so that's a good thing at the moment. This pipe has also been taking damage. That's quite funny. But what's actually in the fuel shape? Water, pea protein, alpha bean protein, uh... Tapioca starch, rapeseed oil, coconut milk powder, cocoa powder, and then a lot of other stuff. Interesting. Right, guys, you've decided not to pick this again. This is a mistake. Otto, this is <laughs> this is why you're stressed. You're be given this task. Okay, that is. Not what we want. Double it. Right. Um. Got a full bladder. That's not going to help your stress, is it? <laughs> He's peeing himself. That's also not going to help his stress. Waking everyone else up with his pee. Yep, that's great. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We've got, we, we have to find a better solution than this. So you're getting loaded with the sand now, right? This is the hot sand. So we should be fine now. Now you're actually getting loaded with the hot sand. But now we'll set this to priority one again. Um, if it needs repairing. And then we'll fiddle with that. All right, what's in the pod? Uh, pemmican? Sure. Food that doesn't go off. I like it. Uh, pay. Morale is not causing a stress. So, pay, you can have, uh, I don't know, rating, I guess.
Once we've got metal refinement going, we'll start making a load of conductive wire. Now, what have we got in here? These seem to be hot biomes with sand and obsidian. Got a fire extinguisher. Broken one. We've got a service cart. Okay, we've also got the spore kids in here. Oh god, right, get rid of all the liquid. We're uh, definitely learning some things. Right, I'm just gonna mesh this. I do not want to entertain liquids over here. I don't really mind them down here. Otto, can we put you on a sleep only schedule? Is that going to solve your stress issue? Probably not. So, how about this? And then Otto goes here. So, your stress is now going down because you're sleeping. So, we'll let you do that for a little bit. We'll do the same with any other dupes that get to the point where they're going to have a reaction. And then what are we going to do about that in the future? The oxygen pressure keeps increasing. Is it all the oxalite actually going off? It doesn't seem like it. It seems like the volume is staying the same in here. So... We've got a few different oxalate sconces. I think this is the offender. We've set that to a priority one now. Uh, we'll set that to a priority one as well. I wish, I wish the oxalate sconces actually showed up on here. Because it still says that it's clearly... It still says that we're not producing enough oxygen, but that clearly isn't the case. I'm going to find the ones that are actually still releasing and turn them off. Also, Otto got a skill point. It's very funny. Well, the skills are not your issue, so... You're going to have supplying too. Oh, we just printed Otto as well. Oh, he's getting stressed because he's the guy running around doing all the tasks. That makes sense. Okay, well, we're growing the plume squashes. That's good. So, we'll keep growing these. We'll fill up all of this pipe work and then we'll, and then we'll get to work. So we know the plume squashes are going to go to the bamets. We know the bamets are going to go down here. So let's put some doors in here. Each ranch can have six bamets in it, and we're going to critter feed them. We can probably fit more buildings in that area. We know we're going to have six bamets ranches. Oh, we did the maths on this. We did do the maths on this. Let me have a think about this again. So we're consuming five, we're producing five tons per cycle of wood. We're turning it into 2.5 tons of ethanol. Each plant consumes 15 kilograms of ethanol per, cy uh, per cycle. So that's about 160-ish plants. Each guy consumes four plants. So 40 bamets, I think, was the number. And each bamoth produces 30 kilograms per cycle of bamoth patty, which is 8 kilograms per cycle of 
That's right. And we need 25 kilograms to cycle the phosphorite right in here. We've got 10 of these. So we need 32. Oh, right. It was 32 balance. Okay, that was the actual number. That's some, that's some very napkin-y maths going on. But suffice it to say, I think, four, I think 32, 6. We'll do 6 Bamath ranches. That's the plan. Uh, I think we can remove this. That was a pre-existing eater. We have the Bamaths down here as well. And frankly, I want to reach the thing as well. So that's why we're going to keep going down here. But this zone, in general, we're going to heat up. Because the Bamaths don't mind it hot. Uh, and then we'll go through here. We'll carve this as well. And then we'll put the Lumen Quartz over here. Carve Lumen Quartz. Now we need the automation wire, so that can go here. This can be set to 10 and 90 as well. That's fine, okay. I think we're getting there. What we could do with is a weight plate with a notifier to tell us when we need to sweep more sand to heat it up. Or maybe we just keep periodically finding sand. I guess I could just put sweep commands on some sand. There's a fair bit over here. I do a filtered sweep. Is that a mod? Is there a mod that lets you sweep stuff with a filter? I think it's time we get that mod. Because obviously we could click each of these individual lumps of sand. But I don't think that's really very entertaining for anyone. Now, sweep by type. Ah, oh, we that's the mod. Okay, I need to get that one. Volcano erupts in 8.1 cycles. Can we prioritize this then? Is that needed at the moment? Probably not at the moment. We can let that hang on. The iron still comes out just fine. Right, Otto, you come off the sleep only schedule now. Other people are still getting stressed. It's because there's oxalite. Oh, I see what the issue is now. We have oxalite on the floor that's just been dropped on the floor, and the CO2 is not high enough pressure where the lumps are. So the oxalite is all off gassing. Um, how do we solve that issue? Other than just printing more duplicates. Obviously, we can open up the tiles. Kind of not a perfect solution. Found some regular water. That's very funny. <laughs> There's more oxalite. Amazing. I think we need some auto sweepers, to be honest. The problem is there's a lot of them down here, so we need a lot of auto sweepers. So maybe we wait until the metal refinery is done for that. In the meantime, I guess we keep going, uh, digging stuff up over here. I'm happy to dig up more of this. Just clear some space. How's this looking? We've got a few floxes. This does not need to be an overly high priority, I don't think. Right. Where is Leofar? Leofar? Is this Jules? I think we took Leofar's cot. We need the stressed dupes have the carpet Rowan has one. Yeah, I think I think that's it. I think the carpet is doing enough. 
Have we got any more refi that we do? Okay, that's good. They're getting the unrested cold bedroom thing. I don't like that. I'm gonna have to fix that at some point as well. Oh, we broke the great hall and we didn't fix it. Let's make sure we fix this as well. And we'll dig this out so you can finish off the room. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go back and finish that in a minute. About the petroleum generator, is that actually going to happen? Uh, let's probably nine this. You're trying to pick stuff up and not grabbing it. Is there any oxygen down here? There's a tiny bit over here. It's not really what. Well, stuff is getting filled, so I'm pretty happy about that. Now, obviously, now what do we put in here? Because obviously the ethanol is not suitable coolant for a uh, methyl refinery. We'll do this, and then... Probably going to be polluted water, isn't it? Maybe we just pump whatever is in here and dump it back. We're not really going to have any other liquids. Mercury? Oh. Mercury is a heat capacity of 0.14. That does not seem like a good idea. <laughs> Liquid metal is being used to cool the metal that we are melting. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? I feel like the heat capacity of the mercury is so low, it would literally, like, melt it by, like, thousands of degrees and turn it into mercury gas in the pipe. Because <laughs> the heat capacity of the metal it's refining would be the same as the mercury. This is not a good plan. Right, in any case, we're hooking all this up with the conductive wire. Because... The um, metal refinery ain't no joke. We want to see if we can go on a different wire. I think it's just going to be this. It's just going to be whatever brine we've got in here. So the brine... The brine has a lower heat capacity. So it will heat up more. But that's okay. Um, what we'll do is we'll put a pump... Where are we going to put the pump? Here. And then we'll set this. We'll, we'll put a uh, thermosensor down here. A regular thermosensor. And that is going to only pump the liquid in here if it's cool enough. Seems like an idea. And then... And then we just dump it. <laughs> Again. There you go. Just dump it over the lumen crystal. This is fine. And then this uh, liquid pump can get wired here. And then... Actually access any of this. We'll build... Bladders. Okay. Stress is still going up a fair bit. The tickle titties is helping. 
but it it's still the it's still mostly the pop teardrums. We are getting some more reed fiber though from the Bamans. So we can give everyone the carpet tiles. This is my favorite form of stress reduction. Because if we need to boost it up suddenly, then we can just get them on a sleep only schedule. And yes, the colony is marginally less productive, but also we don't have someone destroying all the random tiles. Also, we didn't put the copy wallpaper in here. Um, <laughs> am I going to bother going and changing all of this one by one? Probably not. This does not seem very practical. I'm fully, I'm fully admitting at this point that the duplicates are gonna suffer this run mostly because I'm curious about seeing new things. We're up to 500,000 calories. Look at all that raw egg. We really aren't prioritizing the omelets anymore, are we? Hmm. Oh well. Food is increasing. Right, we need to fix. We need to fix this. We'll make another uh, great hall in here as well. Yeah, the oxalate sconces aren't the issue, so we'll build those and that'll just be fine. Uh, the phone has been disabled. No, not the phone. Snow. Oh, we just dumped a lot of snow on it? Okay. That's fair enough. That wire can go here and then here, I suppose. I mean, yeah, obviously build all this stuff first. That makes a lot of sense. Good job, bro. Ugh. So, we've been having fun with Bellatro. We've um, done 13 of the 20 challenge runs now on the stream. Uh, we did try uh, rich get richer, but, but uh, we had a couple of attempts that failed on that one. Mostly because I was just making silly decisions. But we, we'll, uh, we'll get those finished off. And then I'll do a tier list on what my favorite challenges were. <laughs> from that selection. I think I am going to do more Bellatro YouTube content. I want to get a little bit further into the higher difficulties, but I really have a lot of fun with that game. And I think I have a lot of um, knowledge to share about it, to be honest. So that makes it me more inclined to share stuff of that than say Super Auto Pets. I have been doing a fair bit of Super Auto Pets on stream as well, but yeah, whatever. Oh, you can really hear the soggy uh, feet now. I get it. Uh, yeah, you know what? Take all this as well. That's fine. Then you'll have a bit more oxygen to breathe down here. Just a little bit. Uh, germs. Oh, that's right. There's food poisoning germs in here. So you're probably getting loads of germs on you. So I think what we do with the oxalate is we use auto sweepers to pick up the oxalate and dump it in the water. Uh, and that way it's not going to overpressurize the base. Then we just use the oxalate sconces to pressurize it at the right amount. There we go. The intended design. Four plume squashes. We'll keep filling these up. We'll need to put in all the auto sweepers as well. The arrangement is going to be very slightly wonky on this. We'll need two auto sweepers per room here. And the loader. We won't fertilize these because they're part of the branch. We can't put the farm station in. So I think 
the solution to the high stress is we just put people in sleep only for now until we uh, get the metal going for all those auto sweepers. I don't really want to crush all of my stuff into sand. And it does look like they've just been dumping it all over the place. Oh no, he's stuck. We can wrangle him and put him in here. Yes, that's true. We were missing a mammoth in here. Probably a good thing. Uh, the Bamoth Ranch is in here. I guess we can clear out all this space as well. Uh, we can remove the snow tiles. This, I'm going to figure out later. How about we just do it like this for now? Uh, hold on. Leave these ones. The diggers love to dig, and there's more oxygen over here anyway, so... It's a quid pro quo. Then we'll dig this out as well. Maybe this will be the first complete one, so we'll do... We'll do 100 tiles again, because we can crit a drop... We can crit a drop the bamoths, just like we do the floxes. How's this looking? Yeah, 18 eggs. We've got a relatively sensible amount of forms. So that's good. I think we may have solved the issue then. And now we're just swimming in calories. There's so many that we literally can't cook them all. Wait, what are you doing? Is What is Gene being interrupted by? I don't know. Uh, let's also set this to the just the souffle pancakes. Maybe that means the other the other ones will get a bit more use because we do need to actually use some of the raw egg. Also, what we could do so a Bleafar Otto. We can make sure that they only eat the nice food. I wish there was a way to sort this by stress. That'd be pretty handy. So, you only get to eat the nice stuff. So, we'll say... Uh, yeah. Right, it's for now. So, Abe and Leofar as well. Give that a try. See if that helps your situation out. Uh, you do need to get this done immediately. It's not really negotiable. Best tables. That is. That is also pretty nice. Just in case we decide to get more people. Right, uh, can we also party nine this? Let's have a look at long commutes again as well. So, travel time again is mostly farming supply. So, phosphorite. Cook supply. It's fine. What about the... What about the work time? Ranch, recover breath. So a lot of their work is actually just looking after all the floxes. It's interesting. That does make sense. And it also reinforces that we need more floxes. We still need the carbon dioxide level to be a bit higher over here. Can I just put a wood burner in here? Like, literally, let's just put a wood burner here. Uh, we'll, we'll snow tile this. And then... Just stick this on... Uh... Just, just run the wood burner. 
And then we'll put a... We don't care about the power from this. Just put a gas element sensor here. Detects carbon dioxide and it turns this off. So probably like this. Uh, Abe, you're going on sleep only schedule. Right, so your stress is going down while you're on sleep only schedule, so that's fine. So we solved the bathroom issue in combination with, uh, with the sand thing that we can use to heat up the sand and occasionally repairing this beforehand. There doesn't seem to be an issue anymore. So the next issue we need to fix is the pop teardrops. Leah Far, probably going to have to take you off as well in a minute. More liquids. Oh, can you actually... Uh, yeah, sweep that up. The bottle empty as well. We're not actually using this. Probably nine this, just so we can dump all the polluted water. I would appreciate that. Okay, so this is a weighted coolant. So we want to make iron. And we want to make steel. We have plenty of refined carbon. We accidentally made a little too much refined carbon, that's fine. And then uh, we've got plenty of lime, mostly from the printing pod, but also we do have a fair throughput of flocks eggs now, so I'm pretty happy with that. And the eggshell should be going in here as well, because that's also organic. So... Oh, I know what the issue is with this. These are all going to fill up with eggshell. And that's actually what's happened. Already. Okay. So... We want a conveyor element sensor. Maybe. Not really. But we, that's what we're going to do. So, this one can go down here. No. We, we need to do it closer to the thing. Where can we stick this? Because the conveyor shut off. Doesn't count as industrial machinery. We can put it in here. That seems sensible. The conveyor element sensor. Conveyor element shut off. So what we'll do is we'll set this down here. And then if it is wood, then it goes in these. And I think at that point we'll just send it down here. Sorry, this is a bit more spaghetti than you. And then deconstruct all of this. Seems like a great use of the dupes time. And then if it's not lumber, then it goes to the rock crushers to get turned into the line. I actually want it up here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, so we actually want it over here. So their element sensor. We don't use the conveyor element sensors enough. Conveyor shut off. So if it's eggshell... Yeah, this is what we do. If it's eggshell, then we dump it over here. Uh, say... And then... I'll put another one over here. And then we'll have a... Ooh, that was so close. If I rotate this... It won't fit because of the egg... The pressure. Uh, I think what we do is we remove the pieces, put the heater in the middle here. 
then we we still can't put the uh, we still can't put the three holes in here because it's too narrow a gap. Okay, here's what we do instead. We we can remove the lamps. We have the lumen quartz, so let's do that, and that makes a bit more space. But we'll plant another Adilla bush over here. Building melted. You made an auto sweep out of uh, mercury by the looks of it. Oh, we've just been dumping mercury down here. Great. <laughs> Great. We've been uh, causing an environmental disaster. How much that have we done? Uh, do we build anything else out of Mercury? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. So that can just go... Then the thermo sensor, so... Right, we're going to set this to brine. So let's set this to above for now, just to get some pumped in. And this should continuously fill with brine as well. So if we do that... We will heat the brine by 68.8 degrees. And we want to make sure that the brine doesn't boil. Boils at 105. So if we set this to 35, we should be fine. So green signal below 35. There we go. Now we can get our metal refinery working. And that could be Friday night. Um, the light is... It's not great. Could be better. We can remove this. Uh, this should be pretty nine. The lumen quartzes can go in here. Now, the only issue with this is how many lumen quartzes do we actually have left? Oh, there's loads. Okay, whatever. That's fine. You can also start digging out all of this. Found the Critofluxomatic. I wonder if they're going to add variants to the Frosty Pretty. Is it? Oh, I thought it was an artifact. That's just a tool crate. Okay. Oh, Leofar's stressed. No. Uh, Leofar. <laughs> Where's Leofar? No. Leofar's eating all the plume squashes. <laughs> And all the random pike apples over here. You know what? I think that's acceptable, the FR. Feeling a bit antsy. Right, so if we put the conveyor loaders here, the lumen quartz can go on that pedestal, and then. Okay, then. Pedestal takes up too much space. So... We still can't fit it there. Well, that's just annoying. Alright. I think we give up. I think all we do is we put the... Oh no, here's what we do. <laughs> we don't give up. We put the... Put the thing here the order sweeper here and then it's just these two that will do the eggshell that's fine so that can just go like this and this should be set to eggshell and then this needs automation wire okay uh 
Leofar, I guess we were too late for you. Should we get another dupe? We got a Night Owl suit wearer with decor bonus. Bottomless calories. You know what? Bottomless calories is fine. Uh, we have plenty of calories. So you could be the plumber. We don't actually have a plumber yet. Oh, we do have a plumber. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Lara. I just completely blanked you. The uh, building. Barney, you can have farming. Oh, for, we've done it again, haven't we? Rivaldo building. For Lindsay, you can prioritize tidying. We were gonna give. Let's see. Otto is the frost resistant guy. And then we'll make a warm coat for uh, our new friend. There you go, that'll help you feel better, surely. <laughs> He's not convinced. Alright, there we go. And have you got lit workspace? You do have lit workspace. And that is. Yeah, that's staying fine. Good. Well, we've still contaminated everything with mercury, but I'm fairly happy with it. Where are we even going to put all the mercury? That's going to wind me up. <laughs> it really is going to wind me up. We have steel! We did it. We can actually get down here now. Right. The spigot sealed biomes are cooler. Oh, hold, hold on, look at this. We got a cold carbon dioxide geyser. Well, we did one more carbon dioxide for the uh, plants. So I think we actually opened this up. And then I think what we do as well, here's the teleporter to the other planet. Wow, we didn't even spot this. Pretty interesting. So we'll go over here. The trees give the wiggle. And then maybe we'll have a look at another planet. I've got to admit, I'm not overly keen on looking at the other planet. Also... Also, we found... Um, What's this? Tragic accident, flagship smog dispersal system training exercise, clear air turbulence, pilot in intensive care, impossible to predict long term impact. Hmm. Okay. There's some crude oil in here. Just some random crude oil. We've ha we have seen this before. Also, there's the aurora outside in space. We can actually see space. How very interesting. I think what I'm going to do... I know this is another form of environmental catastrophe. I think I'm literally just going to tell them to dump the liquid mercury in here. Just form like a solid tile or something. Just dump it over this. And then we'll just freeze it. Carve <laughs> more of these lumen quartz as well. Right, so... Yeah, you guys can all be carved lumens. It's fun. Uh, wire can go here. Oh, we need a wire for this as well. Fair enough. And then we're going to need to remove and reinstall these conveyor receptacles. Because the conveyor rail is too full of uh, eggshells. And I don't think there's a huge amount of eggshell on the line, so I think we'll be alright. There's a little bit. Very small bit of eggshell. But it's been accumulating in these for ages. So we'll remove. We'll remove them and rebuild them. Lindsay, what is this? We've been we've been had. We we've got the decoy bed. 
Just sleeping in a pool of liquid mercury. Of course, we're not going to enjoy that. We need to adjust our portrait in here as well. Okay. Uh. Oh, wow. We just saw the guy lay the egg. Pretty funny. Okay, sweep the egg. The, the egg just literally shoots out from underneath of them. They stand on top of it. That's very funny. How are we doing on plume squashes? Nine. Okay. There we go. We'll keep planting those as we keep multiplying the seeds. There's going to be a fair amount of food from these as well, but while, we, we, while we're not feeding them to the mammoths. I'm actually very happy with this. I think this has gone pretty well. I do find it quite funny that May is the one making all this. Uh, Pay is the one making all the steel. Also, did we check that this is the heat output from the from the steel? Yes, it is. So the the iron should be fine by proxy. That's how we determine this temperature sensor. So no matter what, we shouldn't be making steel in here. And the brine is going to keep coming out cold. So that's going to help us run this for a while. Okay. Uh, Amari can have digging. Harold, you can have research. Pretty good combo. This looks very ugly. Uh, I guess I need to keep selecting the bits. <laughs> the list of stuff to select in these lags so much. What's the temperature looking like in general? Uh, it's getting pretty hot. It's almost getting too hot for the, the plants. So I'm thinking we turn this one off. The, the issue is, yeah, because we're not actively cooling the base, eventually it is going to get too hot for the plant. And in terms of an actual active coolant that we're going to send around... It's probably going to be polluted water, but the issue is, if it gets, if it gets to like minus ten, it's too warm for the plants, but it's too cool to be co uh, to chilled. It's too cool to be chilled by the thermal aquatuna. We probably would have to use something else. Now nectar. Let's have a look at this nectar res resource. Is this is something we could use for shenanigans. So it actually freezes at minus 82.5 degrees into sucrose and ice. And it boils at 106 degrees into sucrose and steam. So it has a heat capacity. Okay. Okay, this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to put nectar in a thermo aqua tuna because it has the heat capacity of water and it goes down to minus 82.5 degrees C. <laughs> Nobody's been talking about this. I've not heard a single person mention this. They just thought this was okay. So, uh, how do we get the nectar then? So we get the nectar from the, the bonbon tree by feeding it snow. Well, that's fine, because we only need a fixed quantity for the Thermo Aquatuna loop. Oh, look, you're doing the Sporky print. Oh, that looks so good with these plume squashes. I'm a big fan of that. Big fan. Right, well, we're making our metal now. So, here's what we do. We... This does not work, so we just have to put it over here. I think what we do... How many tiles is this? It's 12. So there's not going to be a neat middle bit. So I think what we do is... We have a one tile gap here. Then we put this one here. And then the loader is just going to go in the middle of the room. Because we can rotate it like this. And then I feel less silly. That's going to grab all the plume squashes. And that's going to send them to the critter feeders, which we're going to have in here. But this is going to be the dropper. So this is going to be the first ranch proper. That was a rhyme. I like rhymes. So, dig this up.
yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. So, what's the actual ranch going to look like? We're going to have the grooming station, the shearing station, the critter feeder, for sure. Because we're feeding them the plume squashes. We're not putting the plume squashes in the ring. And then what else do we need? Is that it? I think I might be it. We did leave a space in here for critter drop-offs. We'll leave a space in here for critter drop-offs as well. Just in case uh, we have a malfunction. And then I think that will actually do. So then we'll put the door in here. We'll obviously have to change the orientation of this. Uh, the dropper will have to be a, a left-hand dropper rather than a right-hand dropper. That's going to be the main door, and then these are going to be mechatronic stores. We're not going to focus on the the Bamoths today. We'll do that tomorrow. I would like to get this all running as well. So, send a green signal if the metal is below 30 degrees. Actually, send a green signal if the metal is... I think we're going to have to go for 30 degrees. This could be refined metal. And then I think we actually priority 9 all of this stuff. Get this built before the volcano erupts. And this wire goes here, so we priority 9 all that too. That's fine. And then this ranch goes out to... to oh, an egg! We've spotted a, a guy laying an egg. There he is. This is our current system of managing the Bamoths. Less good than our plan. So, let's see. This goes over here. The wood tiles are fine. And this is going to destroy one of our wild sleep eats. We're not suffering on food. So I'm not that concerned. And I think we can just replicate this. But I do want everyone to prioritize this for now, just while we get the volcano up and running again. Because this will erupt in one cycle. So we can start positioning this stuff. Uh, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is going to be the last Bamoth Ranch. That actually goes pretty well with this. I like it. Yeah, then that goes over here. We'll dig this out as well. We have no shortage of wood. The Floxes are doing their jobs. So, something along these lines. Now, what we're we going to put in this room? Hot stuff of some kind. We've shoved all the ethanol distillers over here. We probably could have. We probably could have put them in these rooms. We may still do that later. We may just make this more base-related stuff. We'll see. Then the doors go here. And then we'll just dig all this out now. Then doors at the end. So I guess go here. And then this is just going to be the dropper so we don't have to make it that big.
Uh, looks like stress has gone down again. That's good. Can we get a few more uh, carpets in here? Uh, let's. Yeah, this is priority nine. None of these guys are finished yet on the scales. Okay. Got another seven plume squash seeds. Yes, I like this plan. So we need. Oh, wait, no. I've done goofed. That's fine, we can fix this. Need one more tile. Because the grooms the grooming station needs to move over here. Also, the shine bug needs to get out of the way. So I think what we do is we just move everything one tile over. I'm very glad we're making large amounts of refined metal. And let's add uh, steel to the resource list. We got 1.2 tons already. That's good. I am probably going to need to get you to stop doing steel at some point. Because we're probably going to need some regular iron as well. But the volcano is coming online again, so maybe that's not going to matter. Uh, we've got a lot of cooks. I think we just need to reprioritize our existing cooks. I don't think we need another cook. Obviously, we don't need the fungal spore. I don't think we take any of these guys. I'll take the fungal spore just in case we want it. Bean. Uh, so you can have digging, I guess. Oh, you, you want mechatronics, don't you? Right. Um, cooks. Layer was hand Oh, people have been handed balloons. Okay. I'm gonna not think about that for now. Right, so... Now we need to rebuild the conveyor receptacles over the ethanol distillers. Now they're actually going to be full of wood instead of eggshells. And we can put... We can't really put a loader over here because we have to have an auto switch as well. I'm happy for them to manually deliver the lime. It's not going to be a lot of lime. Whatever. I feel like I'm overcomplicating it a little bit. Right, can we actually sweep all this up? Let's actually... Okay, yes, I know eggs. Right, let's actually dump... Where's the mercury going? Here. Dump the mercury here. I guess we've got to sweep up the the mercury first. Yes, we'll sweep that up. Oh, well, we could try anyway. So, can we put that here? Yes. And then if we dig this as well, and we put a little tile here, an airflow tile, that should let the carbon dioxide freeze the mercury. <laughs> I don't know. We'll give it a try. I think the flocks thing has worked out here. I'm pretty happy with this arrangement. There's a couple of floxes that are hanging out in this room, but that's okay. Wait. Well, we can murder you. You just got stuck in the tile and I never noticed you. Yeah, we definitely need some more... Hey, why aren't you growing? But out of ethanol, why? Oh, because the distillers weren't running. Okay, that's fine. Did we use all this ethanol? We did. Okay, um, that's fine. So, you could destroy all this when you feel like it. Spaghetti. 
remove the spaghetti. You get a moment. Cancel this. So the grooming station for these guys is going to go here. Door is going to go one across, so it's going to go over here. <laughs> Look at the Bamoth just on the one tile, it's very funny. Okay. We'll probably need to murder the Shine Bug as well. We'll do that. Murder. The cause and solution to all of life's problems. Right, errands. I do need you to finish the drywall at some point. It looks like you've done this pretty well. There's a little, there's a few little bits that you haven't done. But that's fine. Um, so this should again recirculate the metal until in the water until it's um, below thirty degrees. And the liquid is conducting with the environment, so that should be fine. This salt water comes out at 95 degrees. So we don't want to inject more unless we have to. There is more cool brine up here though. I should probably just dump that in here. Think about that later. We're going to go up to 19 dupes today. Mechatronics for Rowan, that's nice. A few more options. Right, I'm gonna yellow without these. Up, up. See, there we go. There's Rowan doing the thing. Now we can get the ethanol distillers running again. These are filling up, they, you know, quite a large storage capacity. Good stuff. Then the conveyor is... Yeah, I don't mind if there's a little bit of eggshell in them. But it just has to mostly be wood. Okay, why isn't this working? Because it was actually disconnected completely. So that one can go here. I guess. Then I can go here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, shit. Uh, this needs to be set to carbon dioxide. We, we have enough CO2 in here now. Our freezer is complete. Our very elaborate freezer. We got more polluted water over here. Great. We, I think we just melted a load of ice. I think that's what happened over here. Building melted. Really? Oh, God. What are we making out of mercury, guys? Oh, no. Nothing. Fair enough. Rare non mercury melt. Right, so the iron has been put in here. We still haven't completed this because we can't actually get across because you want the ladders. Fair enough. And we can also remove this. Did we put any mercury here yet? Doesn't seem like it. Make that party nine. Hot things hot. Yes, that's very true. Very apt. You broke the wire here. That's funny. Uh, actually, just the errand. No, so you don't have a 
errand. No one should be idle. Who's idle? Leofar is trapped. Because Leofar needs a ladder. Yeah. Yep. That is fine. You're all sorted. There is plenty of oxygen over here, believe it or not. The saltwater guys was now dormant. Okay, so now is a good time to analyze this. And... Turn green signal if below 500 kilograms. So there's too much liquid in here, so that's not active. So now we'll open it. And then we can come in here and analyze this while it's dormant. Seems good. I think we've actually made a lot of progress today. The only thing is, again, I'm not sure what to do the thumbnail on. Maybe the metal refinery. Not overly dramatic, but we certainly needed steel. We could get someone to look at this. So, oh, it requires 1,200 kilograms of steel. Okay. We can do that. So what priority are we setting this? Believe it or not. We can't set it. There's no errand for us to set the thing to. Well, that's fun. I guess the dupes have to do everything else first. There's a hand scanner. Computer podium. Found a database entry. Hello, is this thing on? Uh, here we go. Ahem. Tests are progressing as expected and results have exceeded our hopes, particularly in regards to the thermal threshold. Coming in hot, as we used to say. Anyway, first we introduced 12 tons of brackish aquifer water cooled to 65 degrees. This yielded clean steam as well as soil, salt, and trace elements, as expected. Now we flush the system, ramp up the temperature in the water tank, and run it through at 200 degrees. Clear the steam so we can... Hang on. There's some small kind of... There's some kind of debris. We have to be cautious. One small obstruction to the system could be catastrophic. Wait, are these oxidized iron nuggets? But how? All I changed was the temperature. Give me 12 tons of earth oil. Stat. Sorry, please. Unbelievable. <laughs> so this does seem like a magic machine where depending on what the temperature is, you get different stuff out. That sounds very fun. So I believe what we'll do is we'll come up here and we'll uh, come in here like this. Yeah, no one's get to doing, gonna get to doing this until all the other errands are done. So I think we just let everyone do the rest of the errands now. Found yet another mutated seed. These guys do generate a lot of seeds. I think we hold off on the plume squashes for now. So now this isn't going here because I need to disconnect this. Okay, that's fine. I have officially given these guys too many errands. However, we do have uh, nine kilograms per second of ethanol coming out of this. That's pretty fun. So this should consume almost all of the wood that we're actually generating from the floxes. The main issue being... So the conveyor is delivering the wood fast enough. What's melted? Oh, the conveyor rail has melted. That's fair enough. I probably shouldn't have stuck it here. How about we do that instead? The iron is going through here. Um, what temperature is it? Still 200 degrees. We're getting some steam, so we're clearly boiling it quite effectively. We are in the process of analyzing that. We did find George. We haven't done anything with George yet. We should do something with George at some point. Hmm. 
Okay, this iron is cool now. So what's the issue with this? Oh, it's not going through because this is broken. That's fine. Let's fix that. I think we just need to let everyone get on with everything. We have lots of Baminis down here and they're tame, so we can start filling up the ranches with these guys. We'll put the we'll put one lot of buildings in here just to give us a starting idea. So the critter feeder will go here and the critter drop off will go here. And then this will be a conveyor receptacle full of bloom squashes. And then the auto sweep will go here. And then the loader will go here. Except we actually want a lamp for the for the shearing station again. So the loader will go here. And the lamp will go. Let's use this one. Yeah, the sensor can go here, that's fine. Uh, I guess I'll just put it here. Seems somewhat sensible. I can go here, I guess. And then we'll fiddle around with that a bit more. But I really need to just let the dupes get on with it. In fact, what I might even do is I might, uh, once we wrap up the stream, I might run it a little bit off stream just to get them to do all the errands. I've given them a lot to do. Where are these? Oh, they're too hot. The plume, the, the plume squashes are too hot. Wait, 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 wait. The ethanol. It's too hot. We knew it was going to be too hot. The issue is this isn't insulated. So I think we actually, I think we just terminate this. I think we stop heating this up. So the insulated ethanol I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem for the plants. It hasn't been so far. We'll keep an eye on it. Oh my god, what's going on with this? Oh, it's just a wire damage. Whatever. <laughs> Wood. Wow. So you're telling me I could print three hundred three tons of fertilizer, or I could print two hundred kilograms of wood. What a steal. Uh, we'll take the farmer, Ashcan. It's fine. Can have farming and building. Sounds good to me. Uh, more skills. Let's see. Mima can get building. Otto is stressed again. It's all right. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Then... So the Bamets are going to be tomorrow's uh, thumbnail, for sure. The sand, the sand heater doesn't make a very good thumbnail, to be honest. Looks like he did actually get around to grabbing some of it, though. Okay, this is going to annoy me, so we're going to dig this out as well. 
Oh, we can't actually access this because... Oh, there's Mercury here. It's causing a food of water to go over here. Oh, that's so annoying. Right, I think for now we just let it out here. Can't reconnect this yet. Obviously, we need to get access to it as well. Oh, you're making another suit. You're making another warm coat. Okay. We've got a bit more reed fiber again. We're going to put more paintings in here for when we get more dupes. Uh, we'll have one copper one, and then two iron ones. We'll keep that laid out like this. Oh, the wood blocks. We can go mad on the wood blocks now. Um, we have so much wood, I don't think this is going to be a relevant concern. But compared to the ceiling trim, the ceiling trim is plus five for three. The wood block is plus four for four. So the, it's a lot more expensive. But I feel like the radius is better, so it's probably better. Hey, Tech Rock. Hope you're doing well. What are you up to these days? Oh, whatever. We'll put the wood blocks in here. It's a, it's an aesthetic. Then one can go in here as well. And we'll wood block this as well, I think. There you go. See, that was 10,000 wood just for all those wood blocks. Am I going to leave this here as well? I don't know. Probably not. So I'm probably not going to drywall this yet. Right. It's this wire. Because of the jukebox. Well, we've got to keep that running at the moment, so we're just going to put up with it. You've been doing Wild Mender on a few other small games? Nice. What is Wild Mender? We have figured out um, a few things to do with plume squashes, ethanol, and bamets. So we're continuing to hook up all the plume squashes over here with the ethanol from the distillers, which we're just putting in an insulated pipe. And then we're going to feed the plume squashes to the bamets via the critter feeder because you literally don't have enough farm space in a ranch of six to fit all of the plants. Third person revive a desert with water game. That sounds fun. You've also been playing Timberborn. Oh, I love I love the idea of Timberborn. I may have to get that at some point. Right. Uh, don't mind me. I'm gonna put another snow tile here, or another wood tile there, and then we'll sweep up all this mercury. We melted some mercury and caused a bit of an environmental disaster. We're trying to rectify our mistake. <laughs> And you've been trying to play this, but you suck. Fair enough. Uh, looks like all this rock uh, rose. This was the magma, but it's obviously leaked out some heat. Yeah. I think we just got to let the dupes crack on. There's, there's too many errands. These Berminis are so cute. With the ears. Are they even actually going to get to the building? So, I think I think this is working correctly now. That's good. We've analyzed the saltwater geyser as well. This seems like a fairly average geyser. Which is good, I think. Okay, we put some mercury in here. That's fine. So this will eventually get frozen into debris, hopefully. Like solid debris. That's the aim. If you and I had the same start in this game, I would lose. It's possible. We almost, uh, we did have some deaths in our, some of our short challenges. No one's died yet. We did get a little bit of help. Um, someone did coax us into building the petroleum generator, running it off of the one pool of ethanol that was on the map. 
which is a very good idea. But now we are generating our own ethanol and things are going alright. Let's sweep that up as well. Yeah, you guys just have so many errands with the uh, plants. Right, here's what we do. I'm setting all the plants to one. We have too much oxygen, as it is. So literally do all the other stuff instead. It will drop the oxalite eventually, anyways, when it, even if we don't harvest it. Would you would you ever want to get a juicy fruit version of this plant, or would the extra 25% ice needed not be worth it? Who knows? There's definitely still some unexplored stuff going on with the, the Alvio Vera. I'll give you digging. I should probably get hard digging on a few more dupes. Uh, I'll get suits on Otto as well. Uh, you can remove the automation wire, that's fine. Can we also just generally increase building priority a little bit? I'll put it on a few more dupes. Now we've been giving them the skills. So, wood levels are staying fairly level at the moment. Lindsay, you're getting the warm coat. We know you're not. We know you're not frost resistant. Ashcan, we know you're not frost resistant either, so we'll make you a warm coat too. Your current run has three dupes and you're surviving on mealworm. Nice. It's usually how it goes at the start. Oh, whatever. I'm going to leave this room. I can drive all this too. My plan of giving the dupes less errands is not working. Yeah, it seems like they're not spending much time actually building. It seems like a lot of it is construction supply. I believe we'll Let's do the fish update, because we haven't done a fish update recently. Also, wow, my light is um, up with my light levels. Oh, that's better. Still not exactly what I wanted. Let's fiddle around a bit. That'll do. Problem is, exposure 6 is too high when it's uh, during the day. And obviously I don't want to close my curtains. Up. Right, fish. It looks like they've been moving the plant. <laughs> They, they have indeed been moving the plant. Um, I'm sure you've seen all the Hillstream Loach babies running around. Look, there's one uh, on the thing. Can I actually focus on that? Uh, let's see. No, he's gone. Flatty's come to say hello. Oh, whatever. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Debra Daniel is just hanging out. Hello, batteries. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, look, you can see all the little babies. There are so many of them now. And they're all sorts of different sizes. So clearly the Hillstream loaches are still breeding. Continuously. They've been very active. Was that a pooping fish? Um, statistically speaking, it's quite likely. This is also about the stillest you're going to see a Debra Daniel. Pretty much ready for bed. They're usually zipping all over the place. Okay, there you go. You can, you can get a pretty good view of the baby now. It's funny because the baby hillstream loaches are like a much straighter shape than the adults who look more like a flying saucer. Uh, but yeah, if anyone wants to name any fish, we're going to have an abundance of long-lived loaches soon. So, <laughs> I, 
I may not be able to recognize the individual fish, but you can certainly name one of them. <laughs> but look, there's like four babies on the screen at the moment. And there's some more hiding as well, I can see. Anyways. Back to the game. Uh, pay is earned a skill point. Uh, let's go for electrical engineering. Emil, you can have mechatronics. That's fine. What hats am I going to give everyone? I should probably give people different hats. Ashkan, you can have this. Now, we want Mima, Rowan. So what's Rowan? Rowan Frost Resistant. No. So Rowan also gets a warm coat. Uh, you do need to actually do this. So you're coming down here. You're trying to build all the wooden tiles. There is some oxygen down here, but not a lot. So it's obviously not helping. The Bamath has died in his little plinth. That's very sad. You do need to dig this up as well. And dig this up as well, please. I think what I'll do is I'll get you guys Paradise doing all of this first. Because it's in the base. You have actually been doing some of the drywall, but not a lot. Ash can is suffocating. Uh, uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Can I get a fish sandwich? You can get a fish sandwich. Uh, we'll do that in a sec. We're just going to save Ashcan's life. So how are we going to do this? Oh god, you really uh, screwed yourself over. Alright, yellow alert these. Where is the oxygen? There's none here. I think, we're, I think you are literally depending on some random dupe coming to save you. That does not seem like a good plan. What about removing... Yeah, because the thing is, even if we remove this, that's not going to help. Because you can't actually get down here unless you remove it too quickly. I think Ashcan might be dead. Like, for real. Unless someone actually comes over here to build this. Because I don't think he's going to be able to deconstruct fast enough to get out of here. Uh... Yeah, you need to dig this, and then you need to dig the other one. I think Ashcan is actually dead. <laughs> <laughs> At least I have a thumbnail. Thanks. Yeah, I'm not sure this is the thumbnail I was looking for. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Mr. Bamith. Yeah, I think Ashcan's dead. Well, uh... <laughs> At least he dropped his coat. Boo! Was Ashcan a special dupe? I don't think Ashcan was a special dupe. It was the farmer that we just printed. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know exactly where we're going to put the grave. <laughs> Not ideal. I guess it's what we get for literally just building everything in this massive CO2 room. Getting everyone to breathe whatever comes off these plants. If it's grave down here, that'd be pretty funny. Wherever we put it, we're not going to move it in future, though. <laughs> we could put a grave in each Phlox Ranch. That'd be pretty funny. Um, we could put it over here. Why is this still running? I think the CO2 sensor needs to be in here. In any case, I'm going to turn this off. This is a waste of wood at this point. Right. Pick this up. Uh, this ice won't melt, I don't think. And then what we'll do is... We'll put some wood tiles over here. 
and we'll we'll do the grave here next to the freezer. I think that makes sense. I think we're just gonna leave this here. It's very convenient being right next to the kitchen, which is right next to the the flux the flux ranch. So sure. Can we move graves after we put them down? I'm imagining not. Maybe we can. Oh, whatever. We're just going to put it down. Well, do we want to put it over here? Yeah, because that's actually the floor level. How do we access this? Give me a sec. Let's sort this out. We'll do the thumbnail with the with the kitchen and and the grave. We'll just put the grave next to the vending machine. That sounds like fun. Right, Amari, you need to go here so we can actually see what the unknown tile. Is. No. Okay, that's not very helpful. I would prefer if you actually went in. So if you go up here. There we go. Okay. That's fine. And then... I'm imagining what we actually do is we remove this door. And we put the sensor down here and we move the knock gate. And then we'll put the gravestone down. So this stuff obviously will need to be priority 9. And then what else will we do in priority 9? I think... Yeah, make that back to priority 8. So we can get all the errands done, at least. Because we know all that stuff's going to go in. Uh, do that as priority 9. We'll make this the... Box painting. What a weird sequence of events that led to this point. Not very often we have a dupe die. Well, I say that. It's been happening more often recently just because we've been a bit careless. Right, so remove this. The wire is just going to go here. So remove this and then we'll move the knot gate as well. So speedy uppy. And then we'll just set this to Yeah, a little bit more carbon dioxide or pool in here as well. That'd be nice. <laughs> we'll print a new dupe to replace Ashcan. So the thumbnail is either going to be this or probably the metal refinery. But we haven't got one of the kitchen yet. I quite like the kitchen. Uh, we'll definitely put the hard lumen in there. And then this is set to carbon dioxide. Not carbon gas. If you have carbon gas in your freezer, something is going wrong. Uh, Night Owl Frostproof Yokel. I guess we take Ari. So, Ari, you can have operating, and then, uh, yeah, that seems fine. And then, schedule-wise, you can go on the night hour schedule, as well as Lindsay, who uh, I completely forgot about, and uh, probably Nisbet, too. There we go. I've totally been paying attention to that. Ari is frostproof, so Ari gets a snazzy suit. This one goes to Rowan. There you go. And then the power wire gets... Uh, 
yeah, that gets reconnected. So this doesn't need to run at the moment because the freeze is full. And that's actually full. So that's good. And then maybe I'll put like a little thing there. And I'll leave the ladder in just because it looks aesthetic. And then we'll put the door here. So we can restrict access to the freeze if need be. Maybe we'll move the conveyor rail around here as well. Yeah, do that. Do that, guys. The omelette has fallen. Yeah, you can remove that tile. And then I guess the thumbnail would just be like this. And we'll put the baseball memorial in here. There we go. We'll try and get a shot of people mourning when the chefs are operating as well. But... He's pending for a vending. I feel like we can just dig up the graves and move them later. Also, we built it out of granite, so worst case, we'll just melt the grave. That's, a, that's definitely a sentence that we often hear about. Well, I'm pretty happy with how this has gone tonight. Because we have plenty of refined metal now. We have plenty of steel. We can get the... We can get the geothermal pump online. And we're at a position where we can get the flock, uh, the bamoths online as well. Because we have enough ethanol to grow all the, the squashes. And we have enough squashes to feed all the bamoths. So we can set up the bamoth dropper. Fire. Oh! <laughs> yep, they dropped off ash can. Yep, that's great. Perfect. Are you actually going to uh, bury Ashcan? That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. There's Ashcan. What does it say? <laughs> Rip Ashcan. Never another like them until we print another like them. And then Nisbet's like, ooh, snacks. I like snacks. <laughs> what happened to Ashcan? Uh, we were a little bit overzealous digging in the uh, cum dogside pit where the Bamaths are. I think the long term plan is probably going to be exosuits in that area. <laughs> They're all having a proper cry <laughs> while, uh, while we cook up the remains. Not of Ashcan, of everyone else. A very sad sound. You should never have to hear it. Right, okay. So that's that. The thumbnail for this would be too similar to the previous thumbnail. The petroleum generator. So we're not going to bother doing that. How has this been going? Have you been... Yeah, you've got lots of drywall to do. You are getting it done. It's just happening very slowly. How many squashes? 12. Okay. So... 7 and 5. We've got an egg in here. No, because these guys have been ranched because the Oh right, we stopped doing that. Okay. We have lots of tame bamoths down here now. We can start shuffling those in. So I think we actually remove this stuff. And we dig the There we go. I love the wallpaper with the plumes washes. I've already said that. So we could get the biobots online as well. We st we if that would be if we actually skilled up the doctor and the right things. That can happen as well, for sure. We're up to a million calories. That's pretty good. Three hundred thousand calories of omelette. Three hundred calories. Three hundred thousand calories of raw egg. Lots of plume squash as well. Food is doing all right. I'm doing all the wood blocks. Fun. 
Right, we have our 19 dupes. Uh, can we get... No. How about we uncue this? What right now? No? Okay, whatever. Right. Let's save it. I'm glad that we just have ac reliable access to refined metal now. The iron seems to be getting cooled fairly well in this salt water. The main issue is we need to start pouring more in and it's gone dormant. But we can release some of this brine. That's fine. So we have more refined metal. Uh, we solved the bathroom issue with the sand uh, heater. And and we expanded our ethanol distillers and we fixed a few issues with the conveyors to that. So the wood is now, hopefully, mostly just filling these up. Yeah. And the eggshell is getting sent off here. Yeah, which... Uh, it's just backing up as well. Is that part of the issue? Got a fair bit of wood coming in here. Well, that's not ideal. Why have we got wood coming in here? Is oh, don't tell me this is still connected. Ugh. I'm gonna have to fix that because I'm not gonna remember to fix that otherwise. So we're going to have to remove all of that. We do have a fair few mechatronics engineers now, though, so that's good. Right, and then... We'll just reprioritize that. Actually, you know what? This could be a shoot. We'll just do it as a shoot, because it doesn't matter if it's all on the floor. In fact, I'll put it here. Uh, do, 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 do. Cancel that. Cancel these. Yeah, I don't mind if a little bit of wood ends up over here on the floor. Uh, but you do need to do this immediately, so let's be able to let this. Thank you, dudes. Do this before we fill it up with eggshell and the other conveyor receptacles again. Right, let's just watch this. So, eggshell... Whatever, I think that'll be fine. Right. Let's save it, and then let's close it out. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for hanging out. Um, it's been fun as always. Um, nice being able to fit in a couple of extra Oni streams. I know this week's been a bit all over the place. Um, but that's fine. I will be back tomorrow, and we're going to do Bamath-related stuff tomorrow. We're going to get the, the Critter Dropper design set up in the ranch. We're going to set up the conveyor, feeding them all the plume squashes. And then we're going to convey all the... I was thinking we were going to convey all of the phosphorite things back to the base. I think we I think we do do that. We'll do all the rock crushing in the base. And uh, yeah, they should all be fine. And then we'll have our loop where we the bamets are feeding the foxes and the foxes are feeding the bamets. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks very much for hanging out. If you have been watching and you are unsure when I stream, I stream Mondays to Wednesdays usually, 7.30 to 
The best way of knowing for sure when I'm going to stream is to follow me on Twitch and you'll get a notification when I go live. Um, we most play auction not included Monday, Tuesdays, and it's variety game on Wednesday. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you miss a stream, all of the VODs go on YouTube. We make some more uh, discussion-based content on YouTube as well. There's lots of tier lists and guide videos for auction not included. I am very tempted to start making some Bellatro discussion videos. Uh, once we've done all of the uh, challenges for that, the challenge runs, I'm going to make a tier list of the challenge runs, and then we're going to start trying to gold stake all the jokers, and then I might do a tier list about all the jokers and stuff. <laughs> we'll see. Um, or, we get, or we go back to fish games. I'm not really sure what to do. Um, at the moment, I'm just vibing with Bellatro because it's really hot, and I've been really busy. But that might, that might change in the coming months. Uh, there's also Discord where we hang out and we uh, post new builds and things. Anyone post anything interesting in the Discord tonight? Uh... <laughs> Neo. Neo has posted saying that he has an evil amount of Paku points. He's got 66,600 Paku points. Very good. <laughs> Fish naming time. Right, let's go find someone to raid. Enough rambling. Yes. Have a good night, uh, Brinry, uh, Astaney. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out. Who's up to what? Uh, you know what? I'm going to go raid Little Psycho Panda, who's currently playing Rounded, uh, which is a bit like Subnautica, except it's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and you're fending off ants. Um, it looks quite a lot of fun. I'm kind of tempted to pick it up if I ever get any time to play any more video games. <laughs> um, we'll go we'll go say hello to them. They also play a fair bit of oxygen not included. Uh, so you might see that from them occasionally. But thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.